Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. (laughs) Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It's a movie review podcast that comes your way every Saturday night, whether you're ready for it or not. This is the fastest growing podcast in the universe. That's right. Yep. You can help us in that goal by hitting that uh, like or subscribe button. Give us a review. We'll read it later uh, during Igor's mailbag. No matter what. That's right. Good or bad. We have mail tonight. Is it good or bad? You'll find out later. <laughs> uh, so I should pro- we, sh- we should probably introduce ourselves. These are the Internet Radio Superstars. Sean. Holly. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by... Uh, Michaela. Michaela. Yes. <laughs> what did we watch tonight? We watched Tammy and the T-Rex. The long-awaited. The Tammy long the awaited, much teased Tammy much the T-Rex. Teased. <laughs> the yes. much teased Tammy. That should be the full title yes. of, the, of the movie. The much teased Tammy and the T-Rex. I thought yeah. it was Tanny and the Teenage T-Rex. Well, it Depends is. on who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> or where you look. Yeah, if Story you look at the uh, credits of the movie, Tanny. Who has a name like Tanny? Uh, I feel like in the 90s we were making up names like they that. They outsourced the, uh, the credits to like China or something. Well. What year was this movie made? 1994. And directed by Stuart Raffle, who we would know from past episode Mac and Me. Jesus, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. mannequin where he murdered a child. Future episode <laughs> in a wheelchair. Mannequin two on the move. Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, why not? At oh, this really? Point. Did he do Mannequin two? Yeah, he uh, also did the Philadelphia okay. Experiment Let's just complete and the Passenger Fifty Seven. He directed oh, the Philadelphia yes. Experiment. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 That was before his. He did this, oh, wow. obviously. Okay. Well, <laughs> he wouldn't uh, do that after John doing Carpenter this. wrote that yeah. movie. May I reiterate yep. that Passenger 57 is a yep. great movie? <sighs> Wait, he wrote Passenger 57? And direct, it, he, most of his movies he was either the writer or a co-writer on. I don't think he really did things he didn't get a writing credit on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, oh, wow. so you can blame him for everything, in a <laughs> sense. <laughs> And then what's, what was the last thing he did? Is he still working? Uh, the last thing when I looked, it was like something in 2007, which honestly I was kind of surprised he worked that long, but it was nothing that sounded <laughs> anything familiar. The last thing he did was recorded the commentary for this movie. Surprise. Yeah, exactly. Yes, he worked that long. That's mm-hmm. funny. Uh, so, um, okay. So I uh, uh, personally knew the title and the box cover art, and uh, I always knew Tammy and the T-Rex as this basically direct to video uh VHS movie uh you know that was like a, it was like a kids movie or something that came out post Jurassic Park when we had this post? flood of yeah, shit was 1994 it? oh yeah Jurassic Park's 93 Jurassic oh. Park created this massive interest in dinosaurs that mm-hmm. gave us offshoots uh-huh. like prehysteria mm-hmm. oh and, yeah uh, carnosaur which yeah, we did on this show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we was let down. And Tammy and the T Rex. Um but there's there's like a whole history to this thing. So mm-hmm. I, I didn't see it then, and so I'm I'm new to this. <laughs> but why why did you bring it here tonight? I mean, I've actually seen the PG thirteen movie a version of this movie a lot. <laughs> Which is the version yeah. that has existed for like twenty years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? on VHS mostly. I yeah. don't think it existed anywhere other than VHS. No, I would probably agree with that. Yeah, but there's more to this story. First of all, we I think how did we all come to this? Because I remember this was like two, three years ago. Somebody sent us this trailer for for listener pick, which is how I think we all came to. Aside from you, know about it. Because you'd heard about it, and you're like, you guys have to watch this trailer. And we watched the trailer about the movie where Denise Richards' boyfriend's brain gets put in an animatronic dinosaur. And we flipped our lids when we first saw this thing. We're like, this can't be real. This is insane. Uh, It's going on the list. You have to watch it. I'm pretty sure it was like three years ago this first came into our... Well, uh, when I brought it up on the Mac and Me episode, none of you would hurt No. So if that did happen, you completely (laughs) forgot about it. So No idea. Okay, but then it did have a recent, re- uh, like the reason that people are talking about it now is because this movie is like a, a some like a rediscovered fluke, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because. It's wow. like a Miami Connection situation, right? Like Miami Connection was like a reel that was found on the eBay auction and ended up being an amazing movie. 
I don't know how the news came out, but all of a sudden news came out there. This movie was originally supposed to be R rated. And then like within, within a couple weeks of that announcement, it's like, Oh, now we have a R rated cut. Now we're going to show it at festivals. It happened right. so quick. Yeah. And now, and then like a few months after that, we have a 4k Blu-ray of the R rated <laughs> cut and the PG 13 cut together with commentary and new artwork. It's the resurgence happened so quickly. Yeah. It, it started really playing did. in theaters. Yeah. It went around. Sean saw it in a the theater. You yeah. Cine Apocalypse in Chicago. When they, the first, um, first showing of the gore cut, I went and saw in Chicago with a, with it. See, I saw this movie with a giant crowd mm -hmm. who were fucking into it. <laughs> like it was nuts. <laughs> the gore cut, the gore cut, which is what it's, uh, affectionately, it doesn't say that on the box, no. but that's what it's, known as right mm -hmm. yes. Tammy and the T-Rex the gore cut mm -hmm. the R-rated version of a formerly PG-13 family film family film my parents thought it was yeah so I was okay I the way it was marketed was. Yeah, yeah I thought it was one of those kids movies okay. that's what I'm saying so yeah that, that was that was my main question like I've been trying to process this movie <laughs> <laughs> this I was in uh, unusually quiet because this so is your first time this watching it this is my right? first time watching it and who is this movie for <laughs> Um, it's for tax evasion, mostly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's for, That's, I mean... I'm not even joking. That as, it was, like, admittedly a tax dodge. As far as Stuart Raphael was, uh, Raphael was concerned, I mean, he, he shot, he made this movie, uh, What You See, What We Saw Tonight. Right. That's the movie he made. Yep. So who's that for? Well, <laughs> if that I, movie tonight? How I mean, if I, I read you a quote from an interview with him, I think it would help provide some context okay. for you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is the director, Stuart Raffle, talking about yes. the making of this movie. Okay. He said, there are often tight deadlines because it's usually all part of some tax evasion scheme. So I come in, I write it, I do it. That's what Tammy and the T-Rex was. A guy came to me who owned theaters in South America, and he said, I have a T-Rex. It was animatronic, and it was going to a park in Texas. The eyes worked, the arms moved, the head moved. He had it for two weeks before it was going to the park, and he said, we can make a movie with it in this time. What's the story, he said. I don't have a story, but we have to start filming within the month. So I wrote that story in a week. Follows that up by saying, in, case, in that case, we have a dinosaur for two weeks, so what are we going to do? We're just going to smoke a ton of pot and try and figure it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? I respect All him. Right. I respect that now that, honesty. That producer is also the person responsible for the PG-13 cut and the Tanny and the Teenage T-Rex What are you titles? He, what said he, he, he said he wanted a Disney movie is what he wanted. Is what he said. After he saw the cut that we saw tonight, he's like, no, I want a family movie. And so he took the print... And this, at this point, this is the last that Stuart Raphael saw of this movie for since he finished shooting it. Never saw it again. Never. Uh, he knew there was a PG-13 cut, but the producer took it, said, nope, I want a family movie, cut everything out of it, made the PG-13 cut. I'm guessing he's, he was Dutch, so I'm guessing something probably got lost in translation <laughs> when they were doing the titles for it, and that's why it ended up as being... Tanny and the Teenage T-Rex. Yeah. And that's the reason we got the PG-13 cut, uh, the family movie of Tammy and the T-Rex. Wow. So this is like, uh, yeah, a, a great injustice has been mm -hmm. uh, averted here, or corrected. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. That finally we get to see Tammy and the T-Rex the way God intended. Right. Stuart <laughs> Raphael was very happy on the commentary. He was, he was delighted in watching this movie. Um, they brought him in to do the commentary and he's just like this is great uh, can I get a copy of this because the, the man didn't even have a copy of it like this is the first he's seeing of it in 20 30 something years mm. yeah. you know we, we talk about canon films a lot on the show Stuart Raffle was like a one man canon films like Basically, we I yeah. think we should like give him a little bit more credit for the cult disasters he made uh, if we get a, one of his third movies on this show that's the credit we're there's, gonna give him options. because there's no reason any of those other movies should be on this I, show. I, I give think. him credit just for making things that blow my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. Just like he's trying. I were, like, what were you thinking? Well, you're working with somebody. I mean, imagine it, right? Somebody comes to you and goes, like, I got I got a T-Rex. And yeah. you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I got this animatronic, like park ready T-Rex. What can it do? Not much. It can't walk. It can't, can't walk. walk. It barely uh, moves. I mean, basically, I'm trying to think like the carnosaur dinosaur. Uh, well, that one didn't move. We either. didn't see it a lot. Yeah, because it was no. like we saw a miniature. Parts of it, Wasn't but it like, like a miniature. The there carnosaur? was some miniature. There was a little uh, CG in that movie. Just a lot. A I feel like we saw it in like silhouette a lot, or just like its foot or, or something. Head or yeah, a foot or yeah. something. But you know what? That being said, the fact that it barely moves and doesn't walk. 
it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> because they, in the movie, they're just they like, it's it. it. an animatronic T-Rex that we're going to put a brain into. Like, they that's gave true. us that. Because yeah. they're like, we can't hide this. Well, that's, that's, yeah, <laughs> so I we're not going that. to try. I, I do appreciate too. that. If they tried yeah. to pull it off, we're just like, look, it's real. Mm-hmm. No, you're absolutely right. The fact that it wasn't supposed to be real is what made right. it mm-hmm. pretty convincing. That helps. That's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which brings me... St- to some questions at the end of the movie, mm-hmm. the logic, but we'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, this movie stars up and coming star Denise Richards. Mm-hmm. Uh, Denise Richards, prior to this movie, but well, she hadn't broken through yet. She had not done mm-hmm. Starship Troopers. No. Nope. Which was the movie that like launched her career, really. Mm-hmm. Or dropped That was three gorgeous. years after I mean, this, yeah. One was dropped at Gorgeous because we'll what always remember from Wild Things. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Wild sure. Things. Oh, that was after mm-hmm. Starship do, uh, Troopers. Yeah. Tomorrow Never Dies. So that was, was, was that feels like Christmas. that was the one that like killed her. Doctor Christmas. Doctor Christmas. Yeah. But that was like right in the middle of that was like what ninety eight. Was oh, that the boy. end of her? And then she became Mrs. Charlie. No, Sheen? I'm saying I think she did um, dropped at Gorgeous after. Her Bond movie. I don't think that that oh, was okay. her bottoming out as hard as oh, people right. like when to think it was. She was in Valentine, right? Yeah. Right. No. Yeah. That bit gorgeous is hilarious. Uh, for anyone, yeah, it is. It's for anyone movie. who wants funny. to give it shit, that movie is fucking <laughs> hilarious. Oh, Jesus. God, I love that movie. So she's, uh, was this her first movie? She had one movie before this. What was that? I don't remember what okay. it was called. I'm just but curious I liked. if it was. But it, was some TV. That it was something that didn't sound familiar at all. I was like, oh, okay. okay. I'll take your word for it. Uh, TV movie, maybe. So she's Tammy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael, her uh, love interest, is Paul Walker. Mr. Paul Walker. Mm-hmm. May he rest. Yeah, may he rest. But this is, is this his first movie? Yes. It is. This is his from first what I could t- find. Yeah. Okay. Because Fast and the Furious wasn't until oh, like much later. Three or two. The first one I think is like two thousand one. Two thousand one. Okay. Um. So, so we're introduced at the beginning of the movie to both of these characters, Tammy mm-hmm. and uh, Michael. Michael is a football star. She's a cheerleader. We get the Buffy opening. Yep. Yep. Why do we call it the yep. Buffy opening? Didn't Jennifer's body have this also? Cheerleaders yeah. in a gymnasium. Practicing. Mm-hmm. Practicing to music, to the theme music. In this case, it's a song. It's an original <laughs> song, and it's so, amazing. I mean, it's, which yeah. is belted out by some rock and roll singer. <laughs> yeah. Well. And he's explaining the entire plot of the movie. Mm-hmm. Again. It's fantastic. It uh, none of this counts unless you have a movie <laughs> or a, a song. About your movie. Your yeah. Movie. Have you ever watched a movie and so immediately just been on board? Like, right off the bat, you got this like, awesome 90s cheerleader dance set to, set to this original song. I'm like, I'm in. Mm, I don't right. need any and more We convincing. still got the T-Rex coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's your dinosaur. What the heck? <laughs> that, like, that was pretty close. Um, <laughs> yeah, not bad. So, uh, what's going on here? Is uh, Good uh, question, Colin. Well, <laughs> Wait, you stop. Holly, you explain yeah. this to us. Oh, God. I, they have his and hers crop tops. Oh, They're walking they out do. of football they field. Do. <laughs> they do. They're both, they both were just participating in athletics. Yeah. So naturally, right. they have to have a crop top. In the 90s, That's I think that was the law. Yeah. It, it if was. you're practicing any sort of sport, yes. you have to be in a crop it top. absolutely was. And, you know, they're walking out of practice, whatever that may be. And Paul Walker pines for Denise Richards. He does. Movie. But sweet, there's something that gets in the way. Sweet puppy dog Paul Walker. Somehow Cassavetes from um, <laughs> The Wraith uh, yeah, they no morph, morphed, his way, morphed his way into this movie. I, but lost somehow, like two yeah. feet of height. Right. <laughs> somehow fake and, David Duchovny. Right, yeah. Made his Who way was that guy? Do uh, I don't know. He was or what his... Oh, I forgot his name. Billy was the character's name. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So this is the movie. guy who like... Uh, wears the leather jackets the and basically has this black shirt and Ripped has a jeans. gang you know right. of thugs uh, including Roach from uh, uh, People Under the Stairs Sean Whalen who I believe is on the wall is, who's th- oh I, for, yeah yeah I think he's, I, would, I, think I believe is, that no I think this is like our fourth movie we've done that he's been I believe in. that yeah uh, guys I Pretty need to sure. show you the current picture of the guy that plays Billy because he looks even more like David Duchovny than he did back he does then. he looks so much like him tell me that is not David Duchovny it's this like picture. David Duchovny and Bill Maher like, yeah, yeah. That's exactly it <laughs> it's, it's he, exactly he grew it. more into the Duchovny face yeah. as he got older <laughs> um, right. but this actor's name is George Pilgrim <laughs> yes mm. that's it mm-hmm. I've seen him in a few things. I can't remember what um, they are. He was are, in the Red Shoe it's... Diaries, apparently. What the fuck? Well, which was, yeah. wasn't that hosted that was by Duke David Duchovny? Yeah. Yes. It's his show. Wow. Was like wow. His Time is a flat years. circle, guys. Oh, know. my God. That's funny. So he's the tough guy. This is Billy, and he is Denise Richards' actual boyfriend, but he is sure. a 
terrible person she's afraid he's the, of. He's, I thought he's she the said who claims people. Like it's like you'll never break up with me. Yeah, you're mine. You're he's mine forever. Kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, he's definitely on the wall. Waterworld. People under the stairs. This, and yeah. I think there's something else. Sure. Welcome to the wall, sir. Yeah, he's definitely on the wall. Oh, good. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> um. So uh, there's tension right away between uh, uh, Billy standoff, and, Colin. Uh, and Michael. Oh, a yeah. lot of tension. There, oh, yeah. Would we call it a tension. standoff? Yeah. It's called a testicular standoff. A testicular standoff. <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> they, I mean, they get into a uh, pro wrestling match, these two young there's men. There's actual elbow drops. There oh, is yeah. by yeah. a man in a wig that is horrible. Yeah, this is you know on the playground or whatever, and right. surrounded by the whole the circle fight, of students. Fight, fight. Oh, yeah. A guy yeah. that looks like he's like forty five is fighting yeah. a high schooler. Yeah. Also, Paul Walker's stuntman is at least a foot shorter and has at least fifty pounds more weight, <laughs> yes. and is clearly in his fifties. Yeah. I just the wigs are that. not good in this. Movie. Oh God. As well. bad. Just the wig. Bad. Just elbow dropping. There's, <laughs> there's body slamming. Yeah, it is full on wrestling. And there's moves. ball grabbing. It is. Yeah, it so is. this is like the I was the waiting for there to be a chair. I really and this is it. mere, like, we have barely started this movie. We're, we are yeah, mere we're, minutes into yeah. this movie. Yeah. yeah. Maybe five minutes of screen time. This is, maybe. This is the old trick of this, like, we got to do something to grab the audience right at the beginning. <laughs> grab them by the balls. Grab them by the balls. <laughs> yeah. Literally. This is how yes. they fight. And then somebody went, wait. <laughs> and then we cut to Paul Walker and Billy grabbing each other's balls. Harshly, yeah. Just the holding, idea that uh, no one's gonna on. let go right. until this the is, other one lets go. The, the like, cops show up. Just yeah. holding on. Uh, Buck, <laughs> Buck Flower shows up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Buck Flower. That's right. That amazing actor uh, who is now. Uh, well, we say that Sylvester Stallone built the wall, oh, but no. No, George no. Buck Flower built the hallway of fame <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Hold on, I have it right here. Oh no, it's MF it. How many? I think He's he has been made so it many. Nine times. What? Oh my God, I nine wonder what percentage times. of all the Holy movies we've shit. done that is. All right, so he was in Ilsa, She-Wolf of the SS, if you're going way, way back, okay. The Fog, both Back to the Futures, right. Maniac Cop, Mac and Me, They Live in Village of the Damned. Jesus. He has been on oh this show oh, nine Jesus. times. <laughs> <laughs> so, Were you playing music in celebration of Buck Flower <laughs> putting was, on the wall? I was trying to pull up IMDb and I hit something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, George Buck Flower is one of the cops. He's like, uh, they both have the same uh, name. Neville and Norville. Norville and Orville, I yeah. probably. Show up and uh, and they're trying to break this fight up. And eventually the two guys do uh, stop grabbing each other by the dick. Mm-hmm. Uh, it turns out Paul Walker. I get a cup on. Yeah. <laughs> He's so happy about it. So and Billy gets dragged away. Now, apparently during that scene, after they dragged Billy away, one of those two had a heart attack <laughs> on set. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Right there and then after because they pulled Billy away. Because they were Billy probably actually fighting. Yeah. One of the two had a heart attack. Confirmed by, I think, uh, Pilgrim and the director say that he had a heart attack. You're saying the stunt, the stunt guy? No, one of the two cops. Either, oh, bu- either Buck shit. Flower or the actor. Oh, oh my God. Or the other actor had a heart attack this movie's oh, no. not worth as they were dragging him away. Oh, no. Imagine if you died making Tammy and the T-Rex. <laughs> That's how you'd be remembered. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter anything you did before that. Well, apparently, he didn't die because no. we don't remember him for Tammy and the T-Rex. Right. So. So he survived, but... A heart attack was had. Oh, instead of wow. Of T-Rex. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I don't think they were exactly playing it safe. So we've set up the dynamic. Uh, Tammy is in love with Michael. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, right. actually, that comes like uh, I was kind of surprised. It seems like there, there's like a puppy love thing going mm-hmm. on there. He's trying to get with her. She's like, I get you. I I'm trying to keep you safe. You know, my crazy boyfriend will mm-hmm. kill you. So then, he eats uh, a flower. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, then, crazy and that becomes their love language. Yeah. It really does. That's how Why you know not? that it's him. <laughs> Didn't we all um, but at her home later that she calls him. He's been laying in bed waiting to hear from her. And she's like, I need you. You got to come over here. And so he's like, I'll be there. Like, I don't even know, need to know where you live. I'm going to be there in like five yeah. minutes. Yeah. He ran through a wall like Wiley yeah. Coyote yeah, style. Yeah, did. She's, boom. Like, she's like, I'm tired of being alone. She's been alone for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs> Yep. On her private bedroom phone line, That's as right. we find out. Which Apparently. was, so she's rich. That was the goal. Yeah. In Back 94, in especially? Yeah. My God. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. They don't look like they're super rich, but they have like one of those high vulted ceiling. The mom and dad, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. always down in the, the, the living room. Which her is the room hall. looked like an apartment. And it was so big. Because she has the second phone line. 
whenever Paul Walker comes in, because he climbs up the trellis, as you do, I mean, that's the most romantic thing. Go up the right. trellis, into the girl's bedroom. Very Romeo and, and he, like, falls all over everything, creates a noise, and so her dad... I mean, if you were about to have sex with Denise Richards, wouldn't you be falling all over the place? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Uh, but dad, to find out what the noise is upstairs, calls her phone line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, honey, what, what's happening up there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's what you, that's how you know they're super rich. Yep. And she has like an old antique, like gold-plated phone, too. Mm-hmm. It's probably plastic. Kind of like it. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, so as they're getting it on, it turns out that uh, Billy's... Uh, well, I guess it's this. There's this hot it's blonde groupie. girl, groupie, right? Yeah, who wants to get with Billy? Is all pissed off that you know he's with uh, Tammy. They're driving by, and they see that Paul Walker is like crawling into uh, Tammy's house because they're like on vigilante patrol or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so they tell Billy. Billy shows up with like his entire uh posse. Mm-hmm. And they just kind of like stormroll the parents and run into this house. Anybody find this weird? I, I do. I, I yes. find it weird. I also, I need more context for Billy. Is he like a hoodlum that got kicked out of school? Is Did he graduate? Did he not graduate? Is he like actually 45? Holly, we're writing the script in a week. I'm sorry. I, these <laughs> questions. I just, I just need just... more. Because they say like, she at one point she's like, you're going to go back to jail. Okay, so did he get kicked out of school and sent to jail? Like, how does she know him? How do... Would, That's what I said always that was wondered. her ex. How these no, girls I know it's her ex, but guys. like how? Like how did she? I think we're supposed to believe he's a high school student. Is he? I think yeah, we're supposed to believe that. Spelled, yeah, you know? but like yeah. he's their age. He's, he's not the bad yeah. guy. He's not the age he looks. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Maybe he got held back a few times. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, right. yeah. All right. He's got, no, he's got nowhere else to go. Okay. So he's yeah. got to stick around high school. <laughs> so those teenage girls, man, I keep getting older. They stay the same age. Is that yeah. him? Right. Basically. Okay. So. Um, that makes him sound way cooler than he actually is. So. <laughs> um. So uh, they uh, they chase um, Michael like mm-hmm. out the fucking window. Yeah. Right of uh, the bedroom. Like mid mid whatever they were were about to get up to, uh, and then they chase him down in a big action scene that comes out of nowhere where like he's clearly just running away. I like the way that he's always like, "I'm not running from those guys." And then and then Paul's ass he's, first yeah, opportunity. Um, they chase him down. They hit him with a baseball bat, and then uh, ish. Yeah, but this is oh after they chase him into the and then they throw him in the trunk and then they take him to. Which I think it has the sign over mm-hmm. it. It's like Wild the Animal Park. Wild Animal Park. Mm-hmm. What do you expect yeah. to see at a Wild Animal Park? Giraffes. <laughs> yeah? Cool Not one. this one. No, yeah. I, I expected like deer. Yeah. Emus. Mm-hmm. Because it's not like <laughs> not predatory in animals. No. It's just you open the door it's to this a, thing. And yeah, it's not a fucking zoo. Like it's a safari. Yeah. Lions, in California. Tigers, Roar. and bears. Well, at well, least lions, leopards, and panthers. panthers. And leopards, yeah, yeah, yeah. A cougar. Uh, just All the big cats. Around. Oh, but we haven't we haven't discussed how in the meantime all this stuff's going down in high school. We meet the good doctor. Oh yeah, right. Oh, well, yeah. I figure we oh, take yeah. it. We oh, take yeah, us yeah. to like the 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 death because okay. Michael does find himself. Right. I'm just saying, like we've right. We, we get. Well, a, we have to go yeah. there. We have to go there. Michael ends up in the wildlife park and gets ripped to shit by a lion. Yep. Yeah, that's proven by the next scene. Yeah, ripped to shit. Where we see some poor hapless stunt man. That scene went on a lot longer than it, I thought it would. It went on long enough to not look okay. But it yeah. looked really <laughs> fucking real at first. Right. I was like, oh god, it's how like did they real, film this? A real like, guy with a real lion. Yeah, I know that's you know, terrifying. There's teeth in there. Definitely some roar flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so as Holly was saying, so yeah, okay, so we're actually like I think two scenes in. They do inter- <laughs> yep. and drop yep. us into the B plot. Which is what? Uh, weekend at Bernie's four. <laughs> right. I mean, is there three weekends at Bernie's? No, there's only two. No, this is what there's would happen two. in the fourth one. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's what I'm saying. But we're <laughs> so saying weekend the, like, at Bernie's. Bernie's because can find the money still, Bernie's but we need to put his brain into something. Yes. Yeah. How come nobody's talking about ma- bringing Bernie back and weekend at Bernie's four? It needs to right happen. now. I mean, Terry we're bringing Kaiser's back uh, Bill and Ted. I think he died not too long ago. There's, oh, there's yeah, no way that Bill and Ted movie is gonna be good, right? We're no. talking about it's going to be the greatest film of Probably not, but there's it's going to no be awesome. I'm still going to watch it. Yeah. But probably not. 
So everyone's gonna be disappointed by the movie. Calling sure, right now, everyone's gonna be so disappointed by it. They disappointed shouldn't be. by all of these like <laughs> updates of old characters. They shouldn't be. Just like, it, it, like it's gonna look sad just seeing those two old dudes dress up like those characters. It's gonna look sad, guys. I mean, have you seen the like Keanu Reeves the shaved pictures and stuff? Mm-hmm. He doesn't look it's good. Already, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's already. It's gonna look like old dudes going through a midlife crisis, which is probably what it is. <laughs> it's gonna have depends some on the budget though. though. Are we gonna have de-aged Bill and Ted? No. 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 Have you seen those oh, the no. set pictures? Yeah, we've seen the set pictures. No, but I mean, are they going to run into their old selves and, you know, oh. Kind of oh, probably. I mean, they already probably. did that in a Walmart commercial. I was like, it's in the like, Walmart yeah. commercial, yeah. so probably. Put it in there. Um, if they bring back Carlin, I mean, ooh. Do you know I've never seen a single one of those movies? I mean, you don't have to. Of Bill and Ted? Yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Eh, it's a, it was second a, I think it was a generational thing. I, yeah. think. I was going to say, did you I miss I it? You wouldn't be able to watch the, it now. That's to why watch, it's not going to do To watch it well now for the think. first time? No, yeah. yeah. No, it that's why no. it's not going to do it as it well do as you no good. Except the, uh, the post-John Wick uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, I don't care about know. that. <laughs> well, I mean, the fact that he's, you know... Uh, uh, culturally relevant. I know. I, I know. I don't understand why everyone's like still so wrapped up in that. It's been like Ken what Reeves three years a, now of this. He's like the internet's boyfriend. I know. Everyone I don't. Get, I know. That's what he I don't is. understand. <laughs> Everyone gets a renaissance nowadays. You got your. This is lasting a long yeah. time. You get your renaissance. Your renaissance again when you're fifty. Yep. Um, and they can remake your movies as long as they can right, do that. Yeah. You're fine. Tell me the T Rex. Like I said, that's why an opportunity for weekend at Bernie's. Who cares <laughs> if mean, he's dead? Oh, that shit. would be even better I if would, you bring Terry Kaiser. That would be I would watch dark. the shit out of another weekend at Bernie's. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh so Terry Kaiser, Bernie that's from right. Weekend at Bernie. Bernie is in this movie. That's a uh, mad genius. Oh, wait. I think did we just put Terry Kaiser Acting on the wall? Well, I yes, was please. wondering that. I was no, wondering. we didn't. No. Damn. Oh, okay. yeah. Because he was in Friday the thirteenth seven in this. That's, That's it. So far. Uh, it. Terry Kaiser acting his ass off. Yeah. In a because he knows Doesn't what he kind always, of movie this Colin? is. Yeah, he's, he his, always does. He gives his, it his all. His first scene is with a, a giant mechanical Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, he and knows he's, what and he's he doing. And he is having his like Doctor Frankenstein God moment. Yeah, yeah. it's great. He is. There's, uh, there's even a giant spotlight in the back of it. Yeah. To, like. Because they just do it in a black set with the, and they have this animatronic thing. And here you go, Terry, act against the giant. He's having fun. Robot. He's always like twitching or like spitting when he talks. He's like yes. constantly at like an eleven. He's got a little tick. Awesome. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah, he knows. Like I said, he knows mm-hmm. the tone of the movie that they're going for. He's surrounded by a yodeling dominatrix and a. Or is his nurse? I'm kidding. She doesn't yodel. She's not a dominant. She doesn't yodel, but None she... of what you said is true. <laughs> she chews like a horse. Yeah, yeah and it's she's obnoxious. eating... That's Because that's why I'm like, is this a character choice that she's yes. eating something in All every scene? Yes. Um, and then... Uh, the guy from uh, I feel like it's Children a comic choice for the entire movie because we have at least four characters that chew really obnoxiously. Lots of eating. There's scenes. lots of eating. You're it's saying lo- chews like a horse. This is open mouth chewing. Yeah, because we mm-hmm. also yeah. had it disturbing chewing. We also had it with little cousin it in the uh, in the lab. He you was said little cousin it. Where did you get that from? That's the, the kid from Children of the Corn. Yeah, court. he plays cousin it in the Adams Family movies. Oh yeah, yeah. I did not know. Holy this. yes. Shit underneath all that. Yes. That fur. Which okay. yeah, which those movies came out. But before this, weren't they, I want to say they're like ninety one, ninety two. Around the same time, he's like well, the yeah, lead the kid in uh, Children of the Corn, the yeah, one with the yeah. whatever I can't sure. remember. Yeah, he doesn't have a. Yeah. He's an obnoxious chewer, and then uh, Bum from Back to the Future is an obnoxious chewer when he's eating the popcorn. Uh, like, there's lots of obnoxious chewing in this movie. This is very it's, true. It's not as bad as um, by I a drink dinosaur. Your blood, no, by true. A, That's true. Yeah, I could stand this. So this crazy mad doctor. Doctor Walschlang or something. What was in there? Walkenstein. Walkenstein. Yep. Uh, he wants to transplant. So he's got this animatronic uh, robot dinosaur mm-hmm. that he wants to put a human brain in. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, I mean, because don't, well, that's don't what go saying. into when it. You just get don't, into even, science, don't even try and think of what they just, to, just it's science. Yeah, science. Just because you can. Because you right. Didn't he say that, that like he would be like. The first doctor to ever do this or something. Oh like yeah, that. he wants. Yeah. So he wants that. Right. Well, he ability. also wants to, uh, like Doctor Frankenstein, never wants anyone to die. Yeah, again. immortality. Like yeah. it's yeah. the ultimate medical marvel, immortality. right? Yeah. You start yeah. here, then you start putting people's brains in puppies. You know, so yep. they can live forever. Um, that's actually a key point in the movie, or not a key yeah. point, but it is mentioned. Um, which so I think is a he needs a candidate, kind of like RoboCop, right? It we is. Got, yes, he's got to find a candidate. 
close to and Robocop. so because Paul Walker has been mauled by a bear. Lion. Lion. Thank you very much. Cougar. Uh, he he uh, abducts him. Mm, his body. From the morgue. Or from the morgue. From the hospital. He's still alive. Yeah. Well, is He's he? in a coma. Yeah. Is in a remember, coma. Do you remember the whole scene before they put him in yeah, the Yeah, I do. Yeah. I was hoping you'd explain yeah. this to us because this yeah. was uh, comedy gold. It, comedy I mean. Gold. I mean, I laughed. I felt bad for how much Paul Walker got manhandled in this whole scene, right? <laughs> like <laughs> Jesus, dude. I mean, he's getting paid to just hang out. And Do you really think he's getting paid well? No, I, he's a young kid. Yeah, this is his first movie. movie. He's having the time of his life. He is not in this movie very long. No, this he's is not. where he performs his exit from the movie. Yeah, uh, but they uh, they pretend that he's dead, much to the chagrin of Denise Richards, who collapses in uh, in uh, just you know yes waves of paroxysms of, mm-hmm. of uh, tears. Let's get the um, she what? She's, She's got, got the vapors. vapors. That's right. Vapors. Yeah. And so uh, they they take Paul Walker back to the lab and do indeed transplant his brain into in, a dinosaur. This in is a, a much more graphic scene. Yeah, than I this was, is the was, gore of the gore. The, yeah, I was like, gross. this is this yeah. is the gore yes. part they were talking about. Yeah, because yes. it's very slimy. They go into his head with a. There was like a whole scene I like. Never seen oh yeah, this before. is not yeah. even. This is not even in there. No, this whole the, the whole go, surgery is not in it. Straight from um, them like pulling the body up to mm-hmm. Terry Kaiser has a brain walking up the steps. Yep, that whole scene is gone. It's all gone. Really? Yeah. Well, I assume because right. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's the the gooey bits. It's yeah. like an eight yeah. minute difference. And then everything the right after they put the brain in is also gone. Mm-hmm. Well, what happens after they there. put the brain in? Why would you have to take that out? What happened? Uh, well, first of all. Let's. We can't just skip over putting the brain in. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, because <laughs> people are going. Wait, what? It's a long scene too. It is a long scene. They saw the top of of <coughs> Paul Walker's head off. Um, in the most convincing special effects since they did that in Hannibal. Sure, exactly. Uh, it's not a bad model. You know, I was going to say, uh, I was actually kind model. of impressed. It's just, unfortunately, his eyebrows are painted on and not actual uh, hair. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, but it's his likeness considering, for sure. I thought it was pretty good. I, yeah. did, well, I thought it looked good. I was surprised on yeah, the first time. I'm like, damn, all right, too. shit. Um, the brain is one of those, like, you know, nice plastic uh, brains. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's you know, not squishy at all. But uh, Terry Kaiser uh, uh, plays with it a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed in the movie, but when he's pushing the different parts of his brain, like his legs fly up the first time. Mm-hmm. and. If you oh, the look, gizmo is there. Well, yeah, it's a guy holding a paper towel roll. Oh, is that oh it? God, really? That's it. You could see his, I think it's the bodyguard. <laughs> oh you could God. see his hand, plain as day, just sitting there for when they do that. the next bit, which yeah. is like, oh, wait, I love, I love, this is my favorite part. Then he pokes this and it's, you know, it's like he's got a boner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it, but it's just him with a paper yeah, towel. Yeah, because before that, that's what you're saying. When his, uh, the when gown his comes up, up yeah. you can see you can the, see, yeah. you can see everything. You I'm having it. samurai cop it's flashbacks, right? man. Amazing. You know? Oh my God. <laughs> Amazing. See all the seams. Uh, HD does not help this movie. Uh, <laughs> HD makes. I, I mean, it makes everything so much clearer. I that's, think it's, yeah, that's a problem. I mean, the, the <laughs> filmmakers would be like, this should never be in HD. We yeah. have to hide as much of this as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, it only makes it better. That you see every seam in this movie. Yeah. You can see how Thanks scratched the up the eyes were. Yeah, like oh, yeah. the eyes had a ton of scratches all over them. Like oh, you know, yeah. like a fucking old toy gets. This is where like where did this yeah. fucking T Rex come from? I mean, was it in an amusement? Yeah, park it or was. Something? So it, oh, it's an so it is an amusement park T Rex. Yeah. I think it was on oh, its, its way. One of those, it yeah, goes that's with what, like, when I read the, uh, the paragraph earlier, Callie, and I explained it was, well, that. You said it was going to. <laughs> yeah. It yes. Was, He's like it's here. He parks and he's moving it between parks. It's he's like, like I want, the, I want to make a movie. Yes. thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, and he's like, I want to make. I have it. It's not going anywhere for two weeks. I want to make a movie. Mm-hmm. What do you got? Yeah, That's well, right. it feels I mean, like uh, I got uh, Denise Richards. And obviously, that guy thought like everyone loves Jurassic Park. I can make a fuck ton of money. Off dinosaurs the dinosaur are yeah. in right now. He's not do wrong. It. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, right? if Roger Corman can get away with Carnosaur, right? You can get away with anything. Yeah, right. There's like how many carnosaur movies? Four, five, five. Oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure there's five. five. Too many. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he gets. They finally get the brain out, um, and they get it uh, up by the T Rex, and so they're poking him back in and hooking him up. So his eyes work, his arms work, everything begins to work now, and he's feeling the the emotion is being transferred into the robotic dinosaur. <clears throat> and so then they leave it up to their two henchmen to finish off the job. 
and order pizza. And the henchman. Bloody horror uh, ensues. Mm-hmm. Why is the henchman wearing a leotard for most of his part? With a sweater he's a tied around his shoulders. Yeah, That's he's a muscle, muscle, muscle dude. Dude. Back in He the works day. out. You, you don't just, work okay. on him that hard to not show him off all the time. Right? right? So it's <laughs> dress right. pants and a leotard. It Remember. Like the, it looked like the same leotard that um, John Claude Van Damme. That he was wearing, was wearing. at Breakin. Yeah, yep. that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. Take those pants off. That's the Muscle Beach or Venice Beach or whatever workout uniform. Yeah. Um, this goes horribly wrong, and we get uh, heads bitten off, people flattened. Oh, flattened, crushed the by T Rex. is awesome. It was, was good. That was pretty great. Guts spill. Yep. I mean, don't mm-hmm. guts don't spill yeah, here. Spurt. There's no, spurting. There's spurting. Well, he, out of his stomach and his mouth. Yeah. He decapitates too. Yeah, yeah. It cuts, bites the dude's head off. Yeah. 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 Um, we see all of it. And it's awesome. It's pretty yeah. great. Well, yeah. but then you know now because uh, uh, the dinosaur you know is Paul Walker's character. It's Michael. He's like, well, he looks at himself in a mirror with his little <laughs> dinosaur arms. Yes. Yes. Which are clearly like a guy off stage with a glove, you know. Yeah, the angles, like an elbow length the, glove. Yeah, yeah, the angles don't match up. No, no. They, they weren't taking. Yeah, they weren't taking into consideration the short little T Rex arms. No, yeah. all of a sudden they're they really long. They shouldn't be in frame. They shouldn't be in frame. No. No. Well, this movie really like uh, establishes where it's going in the next scene, where he goes to a payphone. <laughs> it's uh, the best scene in the movie. And dials Denise Richards. Uh-huh. You know, uh, yeah. tries to get the coin back. I was gonna say that's my favorite part. It's him look, <laughs> trying to get the coin. With back a little dinosaur claw. claw. Yeah. yeah. That's the best part. Yep. Um, so after this, then uh, the trajectory is <clears throat> well, he he ends up going to uh, a party, a rave. It's not a rave, it's a party, backyard party. It's a house mm-hmm. party. Yes. Yeah. Backyard party, house party. <clears throat> Where all the kids are hanging out, including Billy and his gang. And Billy's like the blonde chick is dancing. Oh, yeah. His uh, Quinn. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go. Okay, yeah. She really is. She's the yeah. Harley Quinn of this uh yeah. of this outfit. She crazy. T Rex shows up. Byron is there as well. Byron, we haven't talked oh, yeah, about Byron. Have, yeah. yeah. This is the gay uh Afri- Ro- what is it? The garb that he's wearing. Uh African it's royalty. African, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like it's, uh, sure, there has yeah. to be a term. Trad- for this. Well it's traditional African apparel. Yeah. And, that, and that's the best I can do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He reminded me a lot of Hollywood from Mannequin. Uh, I was I like, this is the same Mannequin. exact same type of character. I don't well, think he's the Mannequin 90s Mannequin stereotypical gay best friend yep. character. Right. Yeah. Also the 90s Comic stereotypical, relief. like, um, I'm going to go back to what my ancestors wore and all that, mm-hmm. which you saw in like CB4. Our, well, that's, you, yeah, that's you, the thing. He's a black man in Mannequin right. too. So yeah. You saw in House Party. Mm-hmm. Saw this, yeah. well, that character in every movie in the 90s. It's, just, it's a 90s stereotype. Yes, sure. it is. It's he a gets, trope, really. He actually gets, at some point, I was sitting there going like, wow, he's got more screen time and stuff to do than Tammy does. Kind of. Wrong? Tammy well, just kind of waits for the movie to happen. She was yeah. out of the movie And then for she a yells while. at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, so we got to get going on this. This is, uh, um, uh, so he, this is mass carnage at this uh, party. Yeah, he's yeah. not. Uh, he's not happy. He sees the gang there, and I mean, they're pretty much responsible for his current situation. This yeah. is Tammy and the T Rex's answer to the wedding scene from Alligator. Yeah, it, well, it's the same kind of because there even is a tent. Yep. But T Rex, big yeah. animatronic T Rex, goes through, starts biting people. He catches Billy while he's shagging the blonde girl in the back of the car. I'm not sure what happened. Am to I her. good? Am he I pulls good? her up by her foot. Am I good? And pulls her She's leg screaming. Off. He's like, oh yeah, and yeah. But we didn't. We didn't actually see that, right? It, well, they said something later about like, oh, there's a girl with one leg. Yeah, I'm assuming okay. that's so. her. All right. Uh, Billy gets his head taken off. Uh, other people get stomped on. Roach gets his guts ripped out. Yes. And we have basically eliminated all the <laughs> <Every> antagonists <character. laughs> right here at this point in the movie. And then you're like, well, what happens next? The cops are trying to figure out, uh, you know, like what, what's going on because everybody's like, well, the dinosaur came through. Right, mm-hmm. and Tammy uh, is uh, taken by the dinosaur, right, and taken to a like he brings her back to a barn, mm-hmm. where he convinces her that he is actually Michael. It's a very touching after scene. a very long game of charades. <laughs> yeah, a very uh, an amazing game literal. She says, "Sounds like sounds like it's yeah. literal She's charades." Like, oh, I get yeah. it. Because if, if she stopped and like thought, like I'm talking to a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Talking to a dinosaur. But she pulls it off pretty well. I was actually surprised. I think it's endearing. 
I think Denise Richards did a better job of acting in this movie than she did in the James Bond movie, true or false? Probably. I mean, she was playing a character called Christmas Jones in James Bond. How seriously is she supposed to take that? Yeah, but she's like more wooden, maybe because she's trying to be, I don't it's know. A, it was, that's a completely different type of movie. It's an yeah. action movie. Yeah. I'm not this gonna, was supposed to be a family I'm gonna, comedy. I'm going to say I'm not real impressed with her either way. Ouch. I've never Ouch. had a problem with her. Yeah, me neither. She's, I've never really been bothered by her. She's consistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I don't think she's terrible. She's got a level, I which is she's... perfectly fine. I've never had a problem. Yeah. Denise Richards has never taken me out of a movie. I don't. Yeah, think. I've never been bothered by it. No. She took me out of the James Bond movie. Oh, well, really? I, it was just I, I like I don't it. believe her at all. I'm saying it again, I, I still like her in Drop Dead Gorgeous. I still yeah. like her in Wild Same. Things, I'm gonna, and I like her in this. To tell you the truth, um, so the um, so after the game of charades. Uh, Tammy is totally on board with the idea that, oh my God, this is Michael and I will fix you. Right. We're going to get you a new body. Yeah. We're which, gonna, first, we're going to try and get your old body. So we're going to do some body shopping. Oh no, they go to the funeral. Funeral first. Cause they, they, <clears throat> she lets Byron in on the whole thing where, uh, that, uh, Michael's brain is in the dinosaur and um, they're like, all right, we got to get his body yeah. back. Um, and he's on board because he had an, his own moment at the party. True. Uh, Byron <laughs> gets confronted by the T-Rex at the party, but he gets uh, lifted up and dusted off because he's a good guy and he's friends with Tammy. His friend, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael doesn't want to hurt him. So he right. just dusts him off and sends him on his way. Yeah. And that, uh, and so eventually, like, uh, his body, it turns out, is completely rotted. Yeah. Just what a reveal. Was that in the PG-13 version? I don't remember I, that. I Doubt it. If there was, if it was, I'm sure it was really short, cut down, like a lot shorter than what we saw. Mm. Okay, there's yeah. a lot of. I remember them standing in a grave a lot. Yeah, I doubt any yeah. of. I doubt uh, any of the, unless um, Terry Kaiser was directly involved with the other characters. I doubt any of that side stuff of him by himself is even in the PG-13 cut. Really? I don't remember because he's just he's grabbing her boobs every five yeah, seconds, yeah. or like jostling her most of the they time. They have a very close relationship. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Him and uh, Helga. Helga. Helga, thank yes. you very much. Yeah. Who would, if you were to cast that part today, Darcy? Right, right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. From, Definitely. Uh, the Joe yeah. Bob, the Darcy driving. and the male girl would play that part. Uh, yeah. Um. So, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, what? There's a car chase, right? At some point, they load well, the they, dinosaur after they find out. The back yeah, the- after they find out that his body is uh, no longer usable, uh, that's when they go to the morgue. Right to try on a bunch of other different right, bodies. Like Would find you a like body. any of those? An amazing scene. Well, there's also <laughs> that I guess seems the, pretty funny. <laughs> that what else is happening here is the doctor and Helga are like, we got to catch the dinosaur, and so the way we're going to do it, we're just going to follow Tammy around, right? right? Mm-hmm. With the idea that eventually we'll be able to control him, get him to do whatever we want. Actually, that does happen at the uh, the funeral. You know, she's oh, like, yeah. I'm going to cut her juggler, right? And, and they all yeah. fight and throw each other into the into the. The open grave, yeah. Yeah. the open grave. So that was it when they were escaping? Were there cops chasing them through orchards? And well, that's after they uh, they go to the morgue, and then the cops just show up as Terry Kaiser and Helga are escaping, mm-hmm. like hopping away. Yeah, yeah. remember they, they were got in out of the, the truck. truck. Yeah. yeah. Do I'm you sure. remember the no, movie? Yeah. I remember they, <laughs> then I remember them being at the barn when the cops showed up. Yeah. Uh-huh. But they okay. they they escaped when the cops showed up at the morgue. Mm-hmm. Okay. They were jumping away. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right, because we get they're to tied see up. Those. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about, yeah. I, I remember there's, like, if the, the movie also has these awesome, uh, like, composite shots. Oh, right? yeah. Of what appears to be, like, a toy dinosaur. Yeah, I think it's a toy um, dinosaur. You know, just uh, with it's very stiff. Like, right. the legs are articulated like your old Tauntaun or whatever. Yep. Yeah. You know, action figure. No joints. There are no joints. It nope. moves at the, uh, at the waist, and that's it. There's, yeah. Yeah. Moves at the hip. That's it. <laughs> yeah, um, but those get inserted every now and again, which is uh, fantastic. Yeah. When it has to show the T Rex actually moving. Well, eventually we get our entire cast all gathered together uh, at the barn. Mm. Right, everybody. The cops mm-hmm. are outside. Yes, and they're like ready to. Right. Can we? Well, can we go back to the morgue scene real quick? Because we didn't talk about how hilarious that was. Uh, <laughs> Byron and Tammy are inside the morgue. 
and the T-Rex is outside and they're just going through all the bodies and holding them up to the window and asking what he it's thinks like, of them, which one he wants. And this goes on for a very long time and it a never stops time. being funny. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious every time. It's really funny. <laughs> Here's this body and then this body. How about this girl's body? How about this? He's and like, the dinosaur eh. from outside is motion. In the truck, yeah, with his hands. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, thumbs down. Maybe, th- you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's uh, uh, at the end the the doctor is uh, trying to convince people the 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 cops that right oh because uh, Byron's dad is it's the, the sheriff, sheriff yeah right he seems like the only person with any sense in the movie you'd think uh, until <laughs> and, <laughs> until it's like hmm yeah that wild theory sounds okay because Tammy's like no it's Michael it's his brain in there nobody believes that and the doctor is like she's crazy. Uh, just let me go tranquilize it. I'm yeah. going to take it back to my lab. Yeah. To which Byron has uh, the great antidote to that logic. How can you tranquilize it if it's an animatronic creature? And the doctor, I love this scene. This is a pretty good scene. Because he just sits there and goes like, because this is a new treatment. Like it's a new thing that I thought of. It's, a, it's uh, made it's from uh, crystals. Brand, doctors can do whatever they want. Don't yeah. you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's played, it's played it's, it's, well. It's like, played great. The sheriff is just like, okay. Mm-hmm. And even yeah. he's like, how long do you need? And Terry is like, uh, I, 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 need, I need a minute. I <laughs> did just not expect that. No, yeah. did not expect that to go over. <laughs> yeah. Which is a great reaction. Again, Terry Kaiser doing his best. Genius. 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 The man's a genius. The acting yeah. genius. Yeah. A comedy uh, genius. Timing impeccable. Mm-hmm. He uh, ends up going into the uh, barn. With Helga. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, the T-Rex is very angry and upset with him. And bites his guts out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bites his guts out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like one shot. And spits him under Helga. Yes. 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 It's yes. amazing. Yeah. Just to keep the splatter quotient yeah. kind of mm-hmm. high at yes. this point in the movie, because it's been a while. I mean, there was a car chase, but no uh, explosions. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. no explosions. Mm-hmm. And no gore in the car chase. Right. You know, right. Colin, we have two weeks to to do this. That's right. Yeah. Well, did they <laughs> and we have, have two no... weeks to film it. That's what I'm like. Was this movie filmed on weekends? That's well, it was all done within 25 minutes of where Stuart Raffle lived. Oh yeah, that yeah. Every that was location his thing. is He's like, 25 we're not going any the farther than this. So <laughs> that makes it easier. And they filmed during a wildfire, so there's some scenes where you can see the fire in the back. Did you see the fire in the background? I didn't see it. Yeah. When they're when she's riding away on him. Uh, oh, the sky's yeah. orange in front of her and everything. I, like, right. I, thought, I thought it looked a little smoky a few times, yes. but yeah. I did notice. A There's fire. one shot yep, that yeah. is just of the smoke rising. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was the moment, right? That's yeah. that's the moment that sells this movie. Your, right. your poster Real. image when Denise Richards is riding on the back of the T Rex in her gothic blossom outfit. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's 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 the image you Photoshop together to pitch a movie. <laughs> yep. It's just like all right, and you, and you unveil it. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> and somebody goes. I want to see that. Movie. Right? Mm-hmm. You're just like, you have $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> How much did this movie cost? I could not find budget or not gross. Oh, there's no. there's very specific and very limited information about this movie out. That's why I'm like, not did it play in theaters initially or was this a direct-to-video no. kind I of special? Don't know. Couldn't I find any it, evidence I, of it I being think it played in theaters. in theaters in other countries. And if it did here, well, because the the uncut version actually did play in other countries. Yeah. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Europe it was, had it. Yeah, Europe had the uncut version and all that. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can't say. I'm gonna guess if it did play in theaters here, very little. Mm. But who put uh, this movie out originally? Was it like Vestron or something? No, or nobody. No, nobody. Uh, I don't think anybody big or anybody we've heard of. It really was. I think just the. Danish dude's company. All right, then. I got no credit. Like, this could have just been it. lost every, just to nothing. Yeah. But rescued by Vinegar Syndrome. Thank Thankfully. God. Thank God. Thank and God. now it's on Shutter. You can watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, well, they blow the dinosaur away. They do. It's a very shocking, sad, it's like heartbreaking. It's like an old West shootout. Yeah. Oh my God. It is. The amount of rounds they unload into this <laughs> mechanical dinosaur. Yeah. This also happens in RoboCop, right? But you know, because again, it's a mechanical thing. It's like, what's a bullet gun? Whatever. Right. Well, that's that well, was the question I had about, about the the doctor's logic because he said he's going to go in and trank it. Right. How are you tranquilizing something that is not a biological life form? 
He never does actually explain. No, it. no. But he also never tranquilizes it, so yeah. he doesn't. He just have walks to. in yeah. and gets eaten. Yeah. Boom, he's out of the movie. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cops are like, "What? Yeah. You just killed?" Bah, 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 and they there's, blow it away. There's so many questions, like from the get go, because you know he says that he's going to hook up this brain to the nerve ending, and like it doesn't make sense. He did he create? fake nerve endings within the dinosaur like there's just way too many questions to dive into it you know like i mean mechanical it's a one-to-one kind of you know process you just you take the wire it's just like plugging in your tv to you know your hdmi cord it's just like have you ever taken a a science or b a vcr repair class yeah Yeah. you got this you could do it sally Struthers offered tv vcr repair you never got on no you're right it's this easy you're right you just kind of match the male to female ends and that's all you gotta do plus my a little bit of electrical red to red yellow to yellow yeah yeah. Yeah. did you ever set up a like an n64 in your life it was like that Mm -hmm. no i never had an n64 (laughs) you missed out (laughs) miss rich fancy pants over here with their n64s you guys in here you just plugged your like uh red yellow and white cables in Mm -hmm. i had to go with the old rf cable where you had to screw that fucking thing (laughs) to get your video game console again colin also played with rocks as a child yeah (laughs) did you have one of the like the hoop and the stick yeah (laughs) oh yeah yeah. chase cup and ball yeah yeah kick the can yeah to wait for somebody to finish their beans first (laughs) i I think i did play okay so um (laughs) And that thing where you tie the can to your feet. Did I do that? I don't know. I have a memory. Get, get oh, skip it. I was like, like you just run it? down the street with <laughs> no. I have a can. <laughs> You're trying to catch bums. Like what? You wear the okay. So uh, <laughs> bum fishing. <laughs> so they shoot the dinosaur. Right? <laughs> they shoot yeah. the dinosaur. So they assassinate dead. the dinosaur. They kill the animatronic dinosaur. Or do they? And yeah. we see Denise Richards. I mean, it's a very powerful performance. Mm. You can feel it just by watching. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, she good, cries. Good crier, good much. yeller. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The dinosaur cries in an earlier scene. Oh, that's very true. KY. That. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. what it was? It's got to be. Its gotta be. It was goopy. Yeah. At yeah. yeah. his own funeral. I, mean, I think I it might have been baby oil. Ew. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's even it, more. I think gross. it might have been baby oil. Uh, Ew. Uh, that dinosaur was never the same after this movie, no. right? You know, like it didn't it's, come out the same. Yeah. Well, do we know where the dinosaur is today? Well, is that like a foam rubber, foam latex? uh, Look like it. it Those things. I I guarantee you, like bloody disgusting. Like three months from now, we'll have a follow up on where it's at, and we'll find show up at a convention. It's gonna go on tour, right? On tour with the goblin truck. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Somebody's uh, got the goblin it truck is transporting. Greg Nicotero will step in to refurbish <laughs> it. Yeah. Right? Calling it now is going to happen. Um, so in the end of this movie, then, uh, so, uh, you know, we're like, oh, well, he's dead. I mean, that's uh, too bad. Fade out. Fade up. Right? Everything. Jovial Denise Richards comes home from school. Because <laughs> everything's right with the world now. Dad and mom yeah, and they're fine later. and everything's all repaired and, you know, whatever. Uh, but she has... Uh, something up in her room that mom and dad are maybe not entirely okay with. It. No, they're what's not. that? Well, what do we see? She goes up there and you're like, what, yeah, what happened? She's talking to the a video camera, a mm-hmm. camcorder that's attached to her wall, mm-hmm. and then she goes to get a drink. She's talking to the voice of Paul Walker. I know now. he now has a voice again. Now has a voice because well, how? Because he's talking through the microphone of the video camera. Yeah. Yep. Apparently through yeah. his brain. There was like a speaker and like a computer and then like the camera that he oh, was yeah. hooked up to. So yeah. take I your pick. When they have like Again, one old, to one. Like yeah. 386s with the DOS. Like uh, she just comes up. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she does turn on a computer and she's the, like, do, 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 do. Yeah. Yep. And you're like, what? Oh. She's okay. apparently a computer programming genius. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? I mean, well, what? You know how to hook up an N64? <laughs> I mean, what are you saying? She can't hook up a brain to a uh, video camera? I just like, so if you hook up a brain to your computer, it just knows what it just knows what to do it's just I mean, like this i know this program hooking it up to yeah. an animatronic t-rex yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we covered right. this in like a uh, science same. class or something shop or whatever you're yeah, right it's the same yeah right. yeah. yeah science AV shop class. oh yeah. i love science shop AV <laughs> class, probably more okay so uh uh yeah she's got uh paul walker's brain yep. she's rescued the brain yeah mm-hmm. she yeah. gives uh, him a drink pours it right on the brain <laughs> Was whis- was that whiskey? Yeah, like directly yeah. onto a brain. My yeah. God, because that's yeah. where your taste buds are. Yeah, yeah. she's in high yeah. school, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
She's yeah. got a rich alcoholic dad, obviously, that she took that from. Mm -hmm. Maybe she got it from Uncle Willie or whatever. Uh, Could Paul be, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh -huh. yeah. Alcoholic yeah. Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob. Yeah. I'm sure that family has like a really fancy like bar cabinet downstairs oh, in the yeah, living definitely. room, though, that like that has the doors that swing open with the lights. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like rich dad. It's just like, yep. have a drink every now and again. Just be responsible. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'd rather you have you do it at our house. I was just going to say that. Right. Yep, yep, yep. I'd rather you do it at home. Yeah. Yeah, because do they know that she's got the. The booze up? Uh, who knows? Anyway, he, she, yeah. Dad, it's, this is it's how, for Michael. Yeah, because he for needs me. it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. he's, he's, he's a, a nice dad. Guy. He's a brain. <laughs> yeah, he's a brain. Let dad. him enjoy one pleasure Let in life. Something. Well, well he he's got two. two. <laughs> he's got two. <laughs> he has at least two because this movie climaxes. Oh, with, oh, Colin. Wah, wah, wah. Colin. Yes, it does. <laughs> with a scene of uh, so you know, I mean, basically, you know, Denise Richards is like, you know, you want some action too, and he's like, yes. And so, from his point of view, uh, which is the video camera, she turns on the boombox and uh, gets to perform a strip club level uh, burlesque uh, strip tease show. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Which for like five minutes. It's yeah, it's long. Long. It goes on a long Barbed time. wire started this way. This movie yeah. has a sense yep. to end this way. That's yes. right. You gotta watch the whole movie before you get to this moment. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it like a yin and, and yang uh, thing? There's... One's wearing black, one's wearing black. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are opposites. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. <laughs> this is the movie I'm convinced that Charlie Sheen saw and said, I want to meet that girl. Probably. Could have been wild things. Know. All right, it could have been literally yeah. any movies. There's, yeah, but there's uh, yeah. there's chemistry. There's sparks. Literal, literal, literal sparks. sparks. <laughs> the brain sparks. Yeah. Did you know this happened? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. like, give it to me, baby. Give it to me. You're hot. Those sparks are flying oh, off of his yeah. brain, probably because he's been you know juiced yeah. by the, the yeah. There's whiskey. electricity and yep. water all right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's, yep. like, it's yeah. just the brain that's being stimulated. That's yeah. Cool. Yep. That's, that's it. Yeah. This you, is what you happens. don't know much about science, do you? <laughs> yeah. Holly? You just don't get to see no, this because it's yeah, underneath no. the skull. It's happening all yeah. these sparks flying. Yeah. Uh, it's an amazing ending to a, a, a thrilling film. That, <laughs> yeah, cut to credits. That's yeah, it. And then it's, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, hey, you got to get me a body, and then whoosh, credits and songs by uh, Jaded Heart. Mm -hmm. I never did actually look up like who that was. Mm -hmm. it sounds like um, not. Uh, it sounds like Bonnie Raitt is a singer. They did, they did like four songs, and then you got the metal dudes. They did, yeah. they did like five songs. I can't remember mm -hmm. what their names was because it was, you know, like Stevie something forgettable, the, something else. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they're awesome. I mean, we love them. Music was great. It was yeah. fun. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's Tammy and the Deer Rex. Yeah. yeah, wow. The whole like what ninety one minutes is the full cut. I think so. Yeah. So how much of okay, okay. Well, then let's talk about. I mean, how much of the the movie was excised for the PG? Eight minutes. Okay, so it's mostly uh, the guys, the brain surgery, mm -hmm. the uh, party. Yeah. Stompings. Yeah. Any stuff. of that stuff. The it's like you see the foot come up, and then you see like the like a quick cut of the aftermath. Is the yeah. sex in the back of the car? The I, they may. Version? I think they may skip that. Okay, because that's what I'm going to say. Like, is that a PG-13 kind of situation? All the fucks know, are gone. And there's, this, and there's a lot of yelling. I yeah. think it's the yelling that is a problem right. with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the swearing's been removed. And yeah. all the, mm -hmm. am I good? Am I good? Mm -hmm. that's Mommy, all what does he mean? Yeah. 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 So all the jokes are. Good at what? Don't mean anything. In the yeah. No, not, I mean, version. kids don't watch movies for jokes, you know? So how does, uh, I mean, how does Billy... Uh, leave the movie in the PG-13 version. I think you see like the jaws the head, come down yeah, and come down and pick him up yeah. and then that'd be it. Yeah, because I was going to say there's that moment where like they see it and they stop what they're doing. And then you just cut to them running away. Yeah. yeah. You can so, cut all the actual cut impact that, yeah. is cut out. Right. Yeah. Impact, blood, and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Him and and the strip tease is funny. cut down quite a bit. Too. Yeah, it I'm, is, sure, like I said. I'm surprised that the strip tease is even in the, the other movie. So they did try to keep it. They made a valiant it, attempt. It to is. Like, I'm pretty sure that it's like we're zoomed in, so we're not seeing anything <laughs> too far below. Mm -hmm. And there's just, there's a lot of dancing. Well, she's not naked, folks. No. I mean, no. you know, she is in like a Victoria's Secret lingerie. A corset. But, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. And stuff like but that. But they're still zooming in and doing fade outs. Right. And I'm and, pretty sure there's less to no talking by Paul Walker. And it just does her dancing to music and then fades out. <coughs> Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which version is the better version? Well, oh well. We'll shit. get to it. I mean, yeah. I guess. Okay. Do we? Do you guys have to review both versions? Is that part of this? No. 
Okay. I, I mean, it's eight minutes different, yeah. you know. Eight minutes. This is the version, is this is the version we watched. Yeah. Right. Uh, so that's Tammy and the T-Rex. Tell you what, we're going to go around the room, tell you whether or not you should watch Tammy and the T-Rex. But before we do, we're going to answer some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to need the assistance of our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Why, thank you, Igor. He he looks like he's not moving very well. He looks like a composite shot the way he's walking today. (laughs) (laughs) Igor the animatronic. Maybe he has gout. Ooh. ooh, Probably. He has a very salty diet. He steps gingerly. (laughs) Yeah. Um... All right, so tell you what, uh, we want to hear from all of you. You let us know what you thought of Tammy and the T-Rex or any of the movies that we've covered on this show. All you got to do is follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Night Freak Show. Or on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Possibly you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Tonight, about Tammy and the T-Rex. Oh, well, actually, no. First of all, we do have a review from uh, iTunes. Ooh. Oh, uh, Dubden writes in and he says uh, he's making his way or he or she. Sorry. Uh, Dubden is making their way through the catalog and have listened to about three fourths so far. Ah. Uh, great fun and uh, great fun and funny, funny. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's losing it. Losing Jesus. my mind. Uh, you mean oh, to rewire like your brain? At the end yeah. of this movie, yeah. he lost his mind. Yeah, okay. Do uh, rewire your brain? <laughs> great fun and yeah, funny me. banter about all the movies we love and sometimes hate. I can't wait to hear the rest. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I'm glad. Thank That's you for really going nice. through all thank of it. Thank you. I know this is always like, impressive to me when people say that they it's are like, listening listen to, to the back category. Aren't we like closing in on like four hundred episodes? Yeah, we're getting there. You tell we? us, Colin. You're supposed to keep track. No, I I, it's, it's <laughs> guys. Remember, we had an offline conversation. It's September 11th. Oh, oh, remember we were discussing uh, that because yeah, yeah. that's our luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. Uh, about tonight's movie, Tammy and the T Rex Award Wieners writes in. I love it. <laughs> Wish says, I would have thought of it. <laughs> now, do you award wieners or <laughs> just I it's want all to... one word? <laughs> wieners who get award wieners. Award wieners. Award wieners. Who get awards. Yeah. Well, award wieners Curious. is reacting to the fact that we said we were going to do Tammy and T-Rex yeah. with a yes. Yes. That's awesome. what that is. Is it? There's a lot more E's in this. Yes. yes. That's what that is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a The Bad Movie Drinking Game says we're watching it tomorrow for the Bad Movie Drinking Game. Oh, nice. Oh, that sounds like fun. You can't watch this sober. You should. You should not watch I'm this not. sober. You shouldn't be either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Simon Carter writes in and says, I've never heard of this movie before it was mentioned on a freak show episode. Honestly, it looks batshit enough that it might just be awesome. We can live in hope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look up mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. you can. Uh, Grant Parrish says, this was on TV a few months ago. I clicked it because I wanted my cousin to see what young Denise Richards looked like. He agreed that she was gorgeous, but not really enough to justify watching more than a couple minutes of this movie. Uh, that's- well, well you didn't the, get to the you're end. You're coming for the wrong reasons, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 And like you said, you found it on TV? Yeah. It's like, what do you mean? Shutter, what do you mean maybe? TV? Uh, who knows? Right? Yeah, because Shudder, I don't know what well, you he did mean. say he clicked it. Yeah, yeah that's right. all. Yeah, yeah. Denise Richards is just a nice bonus to this already insane movie. She's not the reason you watch the movie. Uh, Teresa Ann writes in and says, I first discovered this little gem on USA Network's Up. Oh. All night. All night. Uh, back in the late 90s, during my childhood Paul Walker fanatic days, oh, we all nobody have. at school believed me that this was a thing. Now everyone does. Nobody would. No. It's like, do you guys know about this movie? About the dinosaur with the brain in it? And I thought I had, like, just it does. misremembered it does. It does. a movie for like a really a long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And it has stars. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Adam Kaler writes. That's what in. makes it sound unbelievable. Is the famous people being in it? Yeah, it's a, that Paul Walker mm-hmm. movie because everybody, when you tell them, look, what? Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. Paul Walker and Denise. Like Richard. you said, like you know, Paul Walker didn't do like great movies, right? Like, <laughs> is this really out of the realm of possibility? I'm sorry, did you forget about she's all that in Varsity yeah. Blues? She's all that. Get out of here. But you can get out of here. He's in Skulls. You said Skulls. Skulls. Yeah. yeah, Skulls is decent. Running, I'll take it back. Running scared, everybody. Running scared. Oh, you got to see scared. Paul Walker and yeah. Running Scared. That's a 
Um, Adam Kaler says, I'm still fuzzy on the benefits to science it is to put a human brain in an animatronic dinosaur. Sure, it can eat people, destroy stuff, and probably sing a rocking song about pizza, but it has no stealth mode and shouldn't be able to do much with its tiny little hands. Why not use an animatronic squirrel instead? A squirrel would be too small. Yeah, you can fill us in there. You need you and Holly get together and take a science class. Yeah, please. (laughs) Um, and this is the T Rex is just step one, folks. That's right. Uh, we'll get to humans and puppies. He said puppies, right? We'll get there. World domination. We just got to go with what we got. Adam's also concerned that Denise Richards is going to try and abscond from Chuck E. Cheese with one of the (laughs) the animatronics. That's That's kind of funny. You know what? There's your sequel. I was going to say, do we get sequels where the brain keeps getting put into different things? Yeah, this could go on for forever. Yeah, right now it's just in a punch bowl. Yeah. That you could what make you endless sequels with that idea. If they can Amy. put Paul they Walker. They can put it in Bernie. If they can yeah. put Paul Walker. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying, right? I mean, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Bernie. If they can put Paul Walker in the rest of a Fast and Furious movie, we can get a sequel to Tanner and T-Rex. We could probably make it ourselves. Probably. Using the footage that's already been yeah. shot. I think, yeah. I think his brothers think they're like actors now, so they'd probably be down for that. <laughs> Travis Legler writes in and says... <laughs> This has to be a Sean pick. I remember with this movie as a kid. We and thought thinking, it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did for the longest time. Hey, it's fine with me. It's like I get three picks in a month now. <laughs> uh, well, he says, I remember this movie as a kid and thinking, hmm, my brain could be put into a T-Rex. Granted, I would want a T-Rex that looks like it was made for the first Jurassic Park. But hey, you know, you work with what you've got. Funny enough, I saw the Blu-ray advertised on Amazon. and I thought to myself, Sean has to get a copy of this. Seems he already has. Possibly. Well, it's like you know the man. I, I mean, know. He, there it is sitting right there. Surprising. Uh, Owen Johnson writes in and says, yes. Multiple exclamation marks. Oh, wait, now how's this Yay. yes spelled? Uh, yes with, uh, there's at least seven. Oh, okay, uh, this yeah. one's just yes with exclamation points, not yes. Okay. Yeah. Tammy and the T-Rex will cheer up a blue day and you can never watch this movie without smiling at the ridiculous n- <laughs> ridiculousness on screen. From crotch shots to brain gasms, I'm convinced that this wild as fuck movie about love and sacrifice will stand the test of time. <laughs> P.S. Exactly what it's keep about. up the fantastic content, you freaks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We surely will try. Mm. What did he say? From from nut grabs to brain orgasms? Crotch shots crotch to brain shots. gasms. That would be a better tagline for this movie than that's, what that's they the, picked. That's the behind what the scenes pick. documentary. He's the coolest pet in town. <laughs> You're right, that's pretty that's bad. That's bad, bad, yeah. Bad. But it sounds like a kid's movie, right? It does. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like there Sean's ideas. This is the behind-the-scenes documentary title. Yeah, crotch yeah. shots and brain gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the making of Tammy and the T-Rex. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, wait, one of the special features is like it's the testicular, testicular showdown. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's what it's called. Uh, which speaking, I do love that. Yeah. Well, that speaking phrase. of which. Someone name a band that. Yeah. There you go. No. Oh, I uh, can't copyright it. No. Yeah, uh, it's not us. Well, Eggman Dante's writes in and says, you're in for a penis grabbing battle between Paul Walker and a high school bully. Is that's that it? the aforementioned <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> testicular standoff. It's uh, basically like saying, you are going to be watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacob Laws says, oh, God, it's got the worst Bond girl. <laughs> Colin would agree. Well, yeah, I would Bond agree. Bond girl hate. Uh-huh. Uh, about a movie we watched two weeks ago was uh, Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. Mm-hmm. Carl Reck writes in after we were talking about yes, the Crypt Keeper actually did sing songs on an album. It was a Christmas album. Mm. He says I still have it somewhere. One of the songs is called Deck the Halls with Parts of Charlie. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, Crypt Sounds Keeper bad. Sings. It's awesome <laughs> and bad, but I mean, like in Tammy, and the I Tears, could listen kind of, to. 30 seconds of that and then I'd I think it's only done. like 30 minutes long the whole thing's on YouTube and it's on our Facebook page so you all you gotta do is surf on over there and listen to I'll it Michael Whitaker writes in and says uh, Dick Miller who's in Demon Knight is also the guy who eats flowers in the original Little Shop of Horrors a lot of flower eating tonight yeah no kidding Nathaniel Keating says oh. Dick Miller he'll always make me think of Gremlins yep mm-hmm. we love a good Dick Miller there you go. Uh, Dick Miller is on his way. I just want to say uh, to uh, Freak Show Royalty, I think he stands right now 
at seven appearances. Just seven, saying, I think, uh, is the magic number. So what you're saying yeah. is I need to bring some more Stallone no, movies, No, you huh? don't need to bring any more Stallone <laughs> movies. You get a gold star. It's already star. been beaten by Buck Flower. I mean, it's That's all... That's the hallway, it. though. Um, so now we're going to go around the room. We're going to tell you what we individually thought about the, tonight's movie, whether you should watch it. We're going to start with... Colin. Hi, Colin. How's it going, Sean? Uh, it's going good. What did you think about tonight's movie, Tammy and the T-Rex? Um, or Tanny and the Teenage T-Rex. Tanny and the Teenage T-Rex. That's the movie I saw. That's what it's that is, that is That is the movie you saw. This is a wild <laughs> movie. It is, um, I mean, it's one of those movies where, uh, I mean, it's, hmm. I was going to say, is it inept? Yes, because we see. Uh, parts there's like a I reflection saw. of the dolly oh, yeah. track in oh a car. My God. That was uh, rough. That yeah. was. It's it's a dumb idea. It's it's dumb but genius at the same time, <laughs> right? It's like yeah. you have a stiff mobile or animatronic. Well, I say mobile, but I mean I guess they push it around on sure, some sure kind of cart that, or something. Moves. Uh, it moves. Does it, Sean? It doesn't really move. It has like I mean it's articulation. It gets I swear moved. to God. It can blink, uh, it's jaws it opening, snarl. close, and yeah, the, it snarls on either side. I think that's basically it, right? Yeah. They would have gotten more movement out of just doing like a stop motion model. Quite possibly. Oh, the good old days. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, where's Harry Housen when you need it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it would take too long. It, it would. Your movie wouldn't come out for like two years. No. Uh, so basically, yeah, I mean, I suppose that's what I like about it. As long as you know the idea that somebody was given... You know, we have an animatronic dinosaur from one of these, like, you know, sideshow, uh, you know, traveling dinosaur things. Can we make a movie, like, really quick? And some guy just goes, uh, uh, yes. And then, like, a homework assignment comes up with this romantic film about uh, unrequited love. Is it required? I guess maybe at the end, kind of. Well, there's the promise he'll have a body. Mm -hmm. It's unrequited. Uh, she they, loves they love him. There you yeah. go. So it's all yeah. Yeah, unconsummated love, um, which uh, may happen said, in I the saw future. Hey, we don't, know, they, we don't know what they were doing in the barn. True. And Terry Kaiser does, does make that joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't repeat here. Um so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, some kind of twisted genius. <laughs> I can't do this with a statement. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a bad movie, right? It's a fun movie because it's one of those movies that uh, it's just like you can't believe what you're seeing. It's like, okay, so we're going to go for instead of just having a fight, there's going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, wrestling moves and nut grabbing. And there's going to be car chases like in the middle of the movie. And we're going to have gore all over the place and people getting their heads wrapped off. Guy gets stomped on. The girl, Helga, comes up, finds this flattened dude, starts <laughs> rolls licking, him up and rolls him up like a fruit roll up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> This is the kind of movie That's that you're funny. in for. <laughs> Plus, it has Denise Richards, which, I mean, is always, uh, you know, like uh, an addition to any film, right? <laughs> Except that fucking James Bond movie. And uh, uh, Paul Walker, uh, may he rest. Terry He's Kaiser. barely in the thing. That's right. It's Terry Kaiser's movie. Terry Kaiser's movie. movie. Uh, well, it's Denise Richards' movie. And Terry Kaiser. And it ends with that uh, fantastic strip tease. Uh, this is a, you got to watch it. Uh, you have to see Tammy and T-Rex. Buy it. Own it. Love it forever. Tammy and T-Rex. Sean, what'd you think? Uh, one of the things I love about, uh, surprise, surprise, I did buy this Blu-ray. Um, uh, Pre-ordered it as soon as it was available to do so. <laughs> Everybody, um, they, we know that, that you were going to be the <laughs> yeah. Every, yeah, everyone labeled me for that one. Saw it um, night it came out in the theater. Did. I did indeed. Um, one of the things I like about this is that on this Blu-ray is, um, is an interview with Denise Richards. What? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched The Real Housewives, and they showed on The Real Housewives when she filmed oh, yeah. this. I saw the other side of her. Oh, movies. nice. Yeah. Um, but, and she's got, like, nothing but positive things to say about it. She you know, she knows what it is. She accepts, you know, the cult status of it. She Again, she knows what the movie she made. But she agreed to be interviewed for the bonus material on this. And I think that is... You don't see that. And in, in days where Matthew McConaughey and Renee, uh, Renee Zellweger are getting their faces taken off of the cover of suing. Texas, suing to, to get their faces taken yeah, off of Texas. Like off Oscar off. winning movies. Yeah. Like Denise Richards is just happy, I think, that she did it, right? Still, I mean, uh, yeah, she's just but, like, 
people know me for this. Right. That's a good thing. Do not, not no, until I mean, like they six don't. months not until, ago. Yeah, like that's, that's the thing. This yeah, but is there not. There had to be like the kids who like loved it ever since they saw it back in the. You know. I don't know. But I appreciate th- I appreciate that, and I, I appreciate the love she has for it. Uh, I'm here to tell you that I also have that love for it. Uh, this is uh, it's a funny, it's a wild movie. Uh, everything we've explained to you happens in this movie. Um, it's definitely worth seeking this out and watching it. Uh, Tammy and the T Rex, the gore cut. Um, I had a fun time. Uh, I'm gonna watch it again. Uh, it's good stuff. I recommend it. Holly. Oh, oh, <laughs> Holly! What's it? Oh man, I, go! I can't wait for this. <laughs> this movie is—I—I I cannot wrap my head around this movie. It's—it's it's a trip the first time you see it, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, granted, I was also on a trip, but true, and that helped. I think. I think you should watch this movie under the influence of something, whatever that may be, or find the biggest crowd you can find to watch. Or it that with. too, because I mean, you can get a high from just watching it with certain people. True. Um, mm-hmm. This movie is batshit crazy. It is bonkers beyond belief. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. But it is an experience. It is, you know, between this and Mac and me, I, I have mad respect for this guy. He's trying things. He is just... He is he I don't know if they're good things, but he is trying things. And I have mad respect for that. I think that I love that everyone involved in this seemingly um knows what this movie is and is still kind of proud of it. I, I think that's really fantastic because this it's such a fun movie. It's so fun. It's there are parts that are just stupid as as hell, but they're Oh, let me. You, okay, I, I haven't seen the other cut, obviously, but I'm just gonna put it out there. Don't bother watching any cut besides the gore cut. Don't. It is a. It will be a waste of time. You will hate your life. But the gore cut, I can confidently say, is worth your time. It is spectacular. The gore is actually pretty impressive. Oh, I. It's uh, John Carl Beekler did it. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, he did. Nice. okay. That he explains very some well. things. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive gore. It, it's going to check the boxes that you need with a movie that you're expecting gore from. Um, it, it's very entertaining. Yeah, I I, th- I, I, w- I will also say, um, just putting it out there, um, being that it's a product of its time, there is some homophobia that I am not okay with in this movie. But that goes, it's just, it's how, that's what you're going to come across with movies from this time. Um, that being said, Bill you and know, t- as we were talking about Bill and yes, Ted earlier, yes. those two things hit like a, Thud. My yeah. God. That's like the one thing I know about those movies, even though I haven't seen yes. it, is the language in them. Yeah. There was, uh, d- during those jokes that you're talking about in this, there mm-hmm. were, uh, s- the groans were so audible oh, in the yeah. theater. Sure. <laughs> They're just yeah. like, oh. Yeah. It's, yeah. So I, because it really kind of takes you out of the wildness. It does. Oh, God damn it. We were doing so good. That's why I'm telling you, like, just w- fair warning. There are a, a few, couple, yeah. there are a few of those moments. Um, so if you get rid of, like, the horribly cringy moments in this movie, which there are many, <laughs> the rest of it is by far entertaining enough to watch it. So I definitely recommend Tammy and the T-Rex. I think I'm a little inoculated to the weirdness of this movie, just a little bit, because I've seen the PG-13 cut so many times. So, like, the the not violence-related weirdness I'm, like, used to. But the, like, yeah, there's, like, whole scenes I haven't even seen that, like, can kind of change the story a little <laughs> bit. So, um, yeah, I think you got to watch it. I mean... Like if this were if this Blu-ray weren't out, I would just say watch whatever version you can get your hands on. But sure. since we have a blue a really nice Blu-ray that has both versions on it now, I say definitely watch the Gore Cut. It's there's no movie like it, man. There really is nothing like it. And I, I agree with what you're saying, Holly. I have mad respect for Stuart Raffle now. Like he's trying things, man. There's no one making movies right now like this. And like they would never get made now. That's the Ballsy, thing. Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, whether he had a plan or not, who who cares? You know, there, we've watched several movies in the freak show that were written on like a dare, you know? Yeah. Like <laughs> I mean, um, No Holds Barred was written in like three days by Vince McMahon and Hulk Hogan. You know, we're no stranger to it like shows. these Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um it's just I mean, th- you gotta experience it. There's nothing like this movie and there probably won't ever be again. This is just like a perfect storm of this like B movie disaster. I was actually thinking about it when I was watching it. I was a little under the influence, but like I was thinking this is like a 
schlocky B, maybe even C level retelling of Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> he goes into Whoopi Goldberg's body in this movie, and this one he just gets put in a dinosaur. It is a schlocky B retelling of Ghost, and if that doesn't sell you on it, I can't sell you on it. But you gotta watch it. I should have hit that thing a few more times yeah. to get up to that level. It's like this is fucking ghost. It is. It is. He gets killed by hoodlums. I also can't in the feel beginning. my toes. What's going on? He gets killed by hoodlums in the beginning, and then she's left to pick up the pieces and is trying to connect with him again. It is fucking ghost. And this came out after Ghost. I'm, you gotta I'm watch. Not gonna it. argue with you. You gotta watch Tammy the T Rex the Gore Cut. Gotta watch it. Well, there you go. There it is. It's a uh, stamp of approval. Four recommendations for sure Tammy and the T Rex. The Gore Cut. Yeah, it's also on streaming uh, services. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know if it's just Shutter. It might be. I've only seen you it. I think it's Shutter. just Shutter right now. Yeah, I think it's exclusively so, on Shutter. So, so watch it while you can, because yes. we don't know how long it'll be up there. Men, maybe wait. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, Joe Bob gets his hands on this at some point. That's right. He does seem to be going through the Vinegar Syndrome catalog or our, so. our catalog. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll we'll cut we'll cut into his too at some point. There was actually a movie I was going to recommend uh, next week, but maybe that'll wait. Oh, okay. So next week we're going to say speaking, speaking of, of yeah. next week, <laughs> Colin. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to indulge you since we're like uh, just going through the '90s, right? Oh. We're watching '90s. Oh, movies. You're picking pick a, a '90s movie. I'm going to pick a '90s movie. Oh, I am going to bet that none of you have seen. Oh, okay. And it's called Popcorn. Anybody? I've heard of it, but I I've never haven't. seen it. Where you buy a bag popcorn. and you go home in a box? Popcorn? It's <laughs> a good tagline. It's a good tagline. Yeah. I'm in. All okay. right, I'm Tag sold. Yeah, let's watch it. There you go. All right, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, the basement is going dark.